Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, yeah, I said it was going to be. We have today a Paul Reed Smith. It is the uh, Mark Holcomb. This is a spe or limited edition. It's in the satin, as you can see, instead of the brisket burst, as they like to call it, that was released here in the States. It is a uh, gorgeous quilt top and a nice blue. Uh, everything else is standard on it, uh, same as you're going to get here in the States. Ebony fretboard, I mean, flat neck on the back. Pretty much the whole back of the guitar is actually flat black. Uh, binding on the fretboard, um, Alpha Omega pickups. Same bridge, same push-pull pot for split coils. Push-pull tone. Uh, Three-way switch, but with the push-pull, you obviously got more combinations. The only complaint I have about this, this guitar, a lot of people have already said it, the nut is really cheap. Other than that, the guitar seems like well over a $1,500 guitar. No, no, it's not even close to that. I got this for 850 off of Gear for Music. <sighs> but yeah, it's a very amazing guitar. I just set it up because the setup, actually, I guess it's one other complaint. The setup from the factory was awful. But as far as limited edition goes, help me make sense of this. We have the brisket burst here in the States, which is gloss, which I think is god-awful ugly, because it's gloss, and I, I hate gloss guitars, for the most part. But I really just don't like it. It looks cheap. This looks like a really high-quality instrument, so PRS, a company based out of Maryland, if I'm not mistaken, that's in the United States puts out a special edition guitar for an artist that's based out of D.C., if I'm correct. And he wants it only available in Europe. How much sense does that make? Anyway, I special ordered it, had it sent over by DHL, and uh, it showed up one piece. Everything's good. Everything's straight, neck's good, just set up everything like I said. Uh, the action was like 464th high on every string. I don't mean four off the fretboard, I mean four on top of the five I like to set it at. So it was about 964th, almost 10 on a couple of them. So that is really, really high action. Um, once I lowered it, there's no buzzing, and I'm in drop B here, the guitar comes in C. It's, I uh, believe, an inch longer scale length than standard. So I believe it's like 26 and a half or 26. But that's because uh, Mark likes to put us in lower tunings. It comes in C when you get it. I dropped it to B, just drop B. One step down from where it comes from. Uh, so far, it's handling really well. Um. I apologize about the noise in the background. My computer fan's going nuts because I'm using OBS software to record this. How about I shut up and we hear it? Uh, I'm going to start with the clean. I'm going to split the bridge. Actually, I'll just leave it humbuckered. You can, we'll go through them all. <laughs> Here's split. Uh, 
Here's both humbuckers. Both humbuckers split. Here's the neck humbucker. Neck split. As you can hear, it's a really, really nice guitar with cleans. I was actually surprised knowing, you know, periphery and all that. I figured it'd be a one-trick pony, but it's an amazing sounding instrument. And I've played a lot of PRSs before, and they seem like they're all chambered or made out of some really light wood, and I just never gave them a chance. I don't know. But this one's got some weight to it. I mean, it kind of reminds me of a Les Paul and a Fender mixed best of both worlds it is a 24 fret uh, does not have locking tuners which I haven't had any tuning stability issues so far I haven't really tore into it yet though and put it through its paces but so far it's been good I'm pretty sure those are stainless frets jumbos I know I should really look this stuff up before I do these videos Yeah, the split coils, I love the way they sound with the cleans. Very good stuff. So let's uh, jump into some nastiness. Oh, and by the way, I'm playing through a Line 6 Helix, and this is my Archon setting. <laughs> Definitely forgot to mute the microphone.
guys suck at beats. We all know. Try a little crunch. <laughs> Yeah, awesome guitar. I don't know what else to really say about it. Pick one up for uh, under a thousand dollars. You can't really beat it. I played a lot of guitars in that price range. That's actually the price range I like to stick out with guitars because depending on which one you're talking about, I believe if you go over that, you're kind of uh, either paying for a name or not really getting a whole lot extra this is built really really well uh, there this one's made in Korea obviously I'm sure there's a American model which I would never buy unless I hit the lottery way too expensive for my taste <clears throat> yeah if you're a fan of periphery or if you just like a really high quality heavy guitar I'm pretty sure it's made of mahogany and I believe it has a maple neck. Mm, don't quote me. That might be a mahogany neck too. Like I said, I should I should look this shit up before I do these. But hey, this is fun. I got 54 subscribers. You know. <laughs> yeah. As far as the channel goes, I'm gonna try. I know I keep saying this. I'm gonna try to put out more content. Um, started a new job. Been very busy. Shout out to Nate. Thanks for subscribing. He works with me there, so. He knows what I'm going through. He just started recently, too. I am in the uh, bottled water industry. So that's fun. Still doing industrial maintenance. Just on uh, water bottling machines. Make the bottles, bottle the water, ship it out. But, take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned. We got more reviews coming up. Just gotta get off my ass and do it. Take care.